All right, Jeff Nelson, 15 years in the big leagues, four World Series titles. We're about to take a look at some of your top performing right. posts. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go, baby. Your very first post. You got to start with Empire State well, Building, New York City, baby. Yeah, and this was at one of my friend's rooftop. I mean, it was down Ooh. in the Hudson Yards, and it was... He has the most amazing rooftop that you can see, 360 around New York. And I, I think it only goes up to maybe like 80 floors. It might be the 80th floor, but it is beautiful. And you can see, this is at nighttime, obviously, so you can see all downtown. So it's lit up blue. We see a little red. Do you remember what night this was? Uh, I think it was in the summertime, and it's probably a couple years ago. I'm not sure. At least it wasn't lit up in the Eagles colors like it was <laughs> a lot like, so during, during the Super Bowl. <laughs> Next photo. You spent a lot of time here in the New York Tri-State area. Right. And this is at Madison Square Garden, a concert that you went to. I'm a huge country guy. I love Luke Combs. I think I sang every single song. I wore out my voice there. Uh, you know, I'd lived in the city for the last three years and Madison Square Garden is such a great place to go to, whether you're going to a Ranger game or you're seeing a concert like this. And once, once you know, country music was really not that popular in New York. Uh -huh. And when I was playing, I came out to a country song. Uh, Alan Jackson, Chattahoochee, when I came out to the mound, I used to get booed for the song. And now country music is huge it's big. throughout the city. So uh, it's nice nice to see. And Luke Combs is one of the best. Yeah, we've seen your singing skills a little bit <laughs> on Instagram. We're going to play that, right here. Oh, for you guys. my God. <laughs> That's in Nashville. And, uh, you know, this is at Tootsie's. And one of my favorite places to go, Nashville, besides New York City, is probably my second favorite city. And I got to know the band really well the first time I went in there. Jason Tesca is the, the member of this band, and he's a huge Yankee fan. And his mom actually lives somewhere in New York, and she's a huge Yankee fan. So I got to know him really well. So every time I go in there, they call me up on stage. They turn the mic way down low so nobody can hear me. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they, you know, sometimes I lip sync just to make it look good. Yeah, hey, well, he's even got the look down too because you got the, you got the cowboy hat in this video also. I might have had a few Dr. Peppers back then just to, uh, <laughs> just to add, add a little uh, courage to the mic. <laughs> you also got some dancing skills. We've seen you on Instagram and this post right here with your family. You yeah, you know, two moves. of my daughters, we were, at a, we were at one of the restaurants in New York City, probably had some liquid courage, and they, and they loved it. You got you to be a good dad in front of your kids. You can't be scared. That's one thing, at least, that I've learned about Jeff through your social media posts, that you're such a great dad, and I love that about you, and you like to take them to fun places like the Waste Management Tour. This oh, is probably one of the biggest gosh. sporting events in sports, and you took them there. Yes, and, and I think I did a live. They showed me how, to, my kids showed me how to do the Instagram live. We went on Saturday, and it's probably the most fun I ever had. I mean, mm -hmm. just seeing the different people, there's probably, I think on that Saturday, there was probably well over 200,000 people. I took my two daughters and my oldest is boyfriend, so we had a blast. And right here at a country club, you got a chance to meet Chris Tucker. What was that experience like? Man? Oh, it was great. Cool and the Gang had a uh, a celebrity golf tournament, and I got to play in that. I got to meet Chris Tucker. Uh, I got to meet Cool, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, it was uh, it was a fun. I mean, that was one thing. It's playing playing baseball, and you get to get invited to a lot mm. of celebrity events. So you get to know a lot of people, a lot of ex hockey players, especially a lot of ex Rangers that I've got to know over the years. And then you get to meet a lot of celebrities like Chris Tucker. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but we all want to see your swing. We haven't really seen too many posts or videos of, of your golf swing. Are we ever going to see that? Yeah, maybe. I got, <laughs> I got to get back. I haven't played since September, so I want to get out there and, and get going. I'm not bad. I, I do pretty well, so I, I enjoy it, but I like having fun at it. You know, I'm a really, I'm a good golfer. But at the same time, I don't take it too serious. I'd rather have a few pops on the golf course with some friends and, and, and mess around or golf in these events. You get to meet a lot of great people. Speaking of meeting great people, here you are with Tracy Morgan at a Yankees game, front row. This is a cool experience too, getting a chance to meet somebody like him, another actor who's been in, around for a while. Exactly, and you know, I was sitting in the front row and, and I look across and he's a huge, just a huge New York fan. I mean, he loves, he's always at the Knicks games or he's at the Yankee games. And we probably could have talked the whole game. You know, I, I very rarely pay attention to the game the whole time when I was with him. And all he kept talking about, Yankees, Yankees, Yankees. I wanted to make sure because he had in that big accident and I wanted to make sure he was all right. And, you know, he's still recovering from that. But what a great guy he is. Yeah. All right. So with being in New York, with obviously being involved in these Yes Network broadcasts, 
you obviously get a chance to see a lot of your former teammates like Bernie Williams right here. How special is this for you to still be in such touch with a lot of the guys who you played with or are doing stuff with now? You know, the Yankees do such a great job to keep their alumni involved. You know, we have fantasy camps in November and January. We also do a lot of stuff at the, at the stadium as far as suite appearances or, uh, you know, different events. And, you know, you see a lot of our my ex-teammates. And, you know, it, it's great to catch up with them. Uh, you're now working with, yeah, I see Paul O'Neill and David Cohn, John mm -hmm. Flaherty. Uh, you see those guys all the time, uh, Tino Martinez and Bernie. And Bernie, I'm a big fan. Of, you know, this was actually at one of his concerts. And I do have to say, you look pretty good in this button down. <laughs> and you, you still you still hit the gym. I, I got to hit the for... gym or I wouldn't be able to walk. <laughs> yeah. And I saw in the in the caption that this was for Yvonne Rodriguez for Pudge, but you see, who was a catcher in another former great big leaguer, but you, uh, you keep the... Uh, Keep in shape. Yeah, Pudge got to the point where he was constantly posting times in the gym. And I'm like, okay, I got to post and say, there you go, Pudge. Here's, I'm working out just as well. And, uh, you know, you have to. You're so used to working out during the season that I actually stopped. I'm like, I, you know, I've done this for so long. About a month. It lasted a month and I couldn't get out of bed. I said, all right, I got to get back in the weight room because <laughs> I, I got to be able to walk. Like I said, you definitely still look good. And there's the three World Series bottles right here yeah I'm missing Did the 2000 ever? yeah what happened to that I don't know you know what well, we were supposed to because of COVID we didn't uh, we didn't have we didn't have old-timers day in 2020 and that was probably the year that we were going to get our uh, the 2000 bottle uh. we had it last year for the first time in a couple years and we I think we were waiting are we gonna get the 2000 bottle so we're missing we got to get yeah. this guy 2000 bottle Some, whoever's watching this i'm sure somebody I know. somebody I, of power is watching this get this guy somehow the they're, they're the 2000 bottles are sitting around <laughs> somewhere and nobody knows where they are <laughs> last one new york new york in this video you're singing right here this was in florida we were at dinner i was out with my oldest and it was it seems like there's so many new yorkers that go down to florida during the winter time and it seems like anywhere you go they must have knew that i was in there because all of a sudden next thing you know they started playing, they start playing like, why not? <laughs> i hear it every single night anyway it's like the national anthem well we see all these awesome social media posts what would you say is your favorite part about using social media and also to what can fans expect if they visit your page i try to post as much as i can not as often as i'd like uh, but when I do, it, it's like it's like the Dos Equis guy. You, you know, it, when I do, it, it's something special. But no, you know, I'll try to do a little more this year because I'm, my schedule's really packed as far as TV. I'm doing a lot more with the Yes Network, and I'll be out on the road, so I'd like to do that. Maybe do a little live BPs every once in a while when I'm out covering the Yankees. So that'll be something that everybody can look forward to. That's right. You can check Jeff out on the Yes Network broadcast on Yes and the Yes app. And also, too, final question because we want everybody to – Follow your social media pages. Where can everybody tag along and just see all these posts that you have coming up? Jeff slash Nelson 43, I think it is. Well, I'm sure you got a lot of great stuff coming up. Dude, Jeff, thank you so Thanks, much for hopping on the feed, brother. Thanks, man. My man. Thanks.